afternoon everyone good afternoon uh it's uh tuesday tuesday afternoon now in not so sunny london uh today i thought i'd just go through um what am i going through today i'm going to go through the products that i use to wash my car uh, now a few people have asked me for this uh, it probably would have been better if i was doing it with the 911 and showing you how I use the products, but I'm just gonna go through uh, the website where I buy the products from. I'm gonna show you the, the uh, products that I buy and I'm gonna uh, explain to you what they do and uh, why I use them. Um, most of the products I use are not that inexpensive. They're quite expensive. Uh, they're not just base supermarket products. Uh, in Australia, they're probably more expensive than anywhere else. Uh, sometimes when I'm in the UK, I buy the auto glim products from the UK and I take them back to Australia uh, but anyway um, yeah so just a, I'll say it just a quick video it's probably not going to be quick but just a quick video and we'll run through the products I use and yeah but not promoted in any way I have no affiliation with this website I'm just uh, this is just where I buy it from in Australia it's probably the best place to buy it from in uh, Sydney uh, so yeah let's take a look Okay, so um, when I am uh, washing the car, this is, I've just got all the products here on one page. I'll just go through them individually and show you guys. Uh, to wash the car, I use a brand called uh, Dodo Juice. Uh, Dodo Juice, I use a few products from them. I just want to say, when I first bought the 911, I did not use these sort of products on my Audi. I basically just bought uh, basic car wash and uh, I very rarely waxed it uh, and I very rarely polished it. I wasn't great. I did when I first bought the car but then years and years later I stopped doing it. Uh, with the Porsche I of course asked my friend who gave me some good insight into uh, how to wash the car and what products to use. A lot of these recommendations came from him uh, and they're good recommendations. They're actually really good products. Okay so the first one is the Dodo Juice. Uh, the Dodo Juice Supernatural Shampoo. Uh, you can see the price there in Australian dollars which is quite expensive for car wash. Uh, it's only a very small bottle. The beauty of this product is it's very concentrated. Uh, you don't have to use that much of it. Uh, so that's a good thing. I mean, it works quite well. Um, so this is what I use to wash the car. This is the car shampoo, the Supernatural shampoo. So that's for washing the car. Obviously the buckets I use, I use the uh, bucket with the grit guard. Uh, these buckets are the plastic, white plastic buckets. They have the black grit guard down the bottom. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. Um, you normally have a two bucket system, obviously one to rinse and one to uh, wash. I know some people use foam to wash their car. You know, I don't, have the, I don't have the beauty of being in a house in Sydney. As you know, I live in an apartment and living in an apartment, space, power, facilities, they're a little bit limited when you wash your car. Luckily our building has a car wash bay and I use that, but um, I still use the bucket and water method. I don't use the foam excuse me, the spray on foam method. So these are the buckets, I have a few of these. To wash the car, and I know there's a lot of, a lot of people have a lot of opinions on what you should use and what scratches and what doesn't, doesn't scratch. Uh, I use this uh, Guillon, I think it's called. Uh, they also make the, um, the uh, ceramic coating that I put on my wheels. The, uh, I can't remember the name of it, I'll come to it. So the Guillon Q2M smoothie, it's just like a mitt. It's got a quite a deep pile, so hopefully it doesn't, it, if it picks up the dirt, it doesn't scratch. Obviously you have to rinse it out. That's why you have the two bucket method to rinse and make sure that any grit is like uh, rinsed off. Uh, with the black grit guard at the bottom, all the grit falls to the bottom and you don't get it into your, you know, hopefully you don't get it back onto your mitt. Uh, so that's the mitt that I use. For the wheels, I sometimes and not always will spray a little bit of the Dodo Juice Ferrous Jeweler on the wheel. Uh, I usually just spray it inside the rim of the wheel, so where the brake dust goes, uh, I'll just spray it on. I don't leave it on for too long. Uh, this product is very good, this iron remover product. It, it removes all the brake dust in that very, very quickly. Uh, like I said, my wheels have the ceramic coating that I put on them, the quartz coating. And also, I, uh, I hate to say it, but I also put wax on my wheels, so the wax actually does also protect them from, you know, road dirt, brake dust, etc. Uh, but I do use the Ferris Jeweler, and it's not cheap. Uh, it lasts a reasonable amount of time because I use it quite sparingly, um, but it does do the job quite well. Normally I'll put the Ferris Jeweler on, I'll leave it on for a bit, I'll do the one side, wash it off, and then I will get uh, soapy water, the shampoo water, 
clean, of course, and then I'll clean the tires, the wheels individually after I put the ferrous jeweler on so I get all of the anything that's left from the jeweler. The only reason why I say that is because I used this on my tech art wheels that had silver bolts and I think they must have been Porsche bolts, the silver bolts, and it made the bolts rust. Uh, they weren't rusted before and after I used this on the, on the wheels they rusted. Uh, so now when I use it, I tend to just use it on the inside of the wheel. I don't spray uh, the front of my wheel. I don't spray my bolts or anything like that. It may be nothing, but that's just what I do now. So that's the Ferris Jeweler. Uh, so that's washing the car, washing the exterior of the car, washing the wheels. To dry the car, what do I use to dry the car? Well, I do two things to dry the car. I use the Auto Glim Aqua Dry Chamois, uh, which is once again not cheap. The Autoglim Aqua Dry, Aqua Dry Chamois, Aqua Dry Chamois, which I purchased uh, from the UK actually because it's uh, it was a lot cheaper here. But so I use this. I know a lot of people don't like to use chamois. They like to use uh, the waffle cloths. I also have one of those. I have an Autoglim one and I have a generic one from Amazon. I kind of use both. Um, I kind of with the chamois, I kind of pat it more than rubbing it. But I actually use the chamois and the cloth. I find if you just use the waffle cloth, the big cloths. They do soak up a lot of water, they get very wet. I don't know, for me they find them a bit annoying. I know they're meant to not scratch your car, but I kind of use two methods and I use the, the chamois and I use the cloth. Uh, it works well for me, um, that's just a bit of trial and error over the last few months. Yeah, I don't actually sell the Auto Glim uh, drying towel. Um, the one I have, I have one like this. Uh, this is the Mint brand, which I use a glass cloth. I have one similar to this, which is a generic one. And the Auto Glim one is slightly different. Okay, so that's washing, that's drying the car. Um, oh, just when I go before I skip it, this is, uh, I'm gonna say it's Guillon, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, so excuse me if it's like incorrect. Uh, Guillon Q2 Rim Kit, 30mm on prep kit. So this is what I used on my wheels. Um, you use the little uh, micro, uh, it's like a little chamois cloth. Um, you just wipe it over the wheels, put a thin layer, has to be prepped beforehand, has to be clean. Um, they also do these for the paintwork, which I'm sure some of you guys have actually used. But I use them on the wheel uh, just to stop the brake dust, just to make them easy to clean. And you know what? It works. It works really, really well. I'm not sure how long the coating lasts for. It's a quartz coating. but um, so I put them on, put it on the wheels when I bought the, when I had the wheels refurbished. So there must be a year now, it must be a year. And uh, the wheels are held up really, really well. And you put them on the front of the wheel as well. Um, and then after that, like I said, occasion I will put coatings of wax on my wheels. So obsessive probably, but you know, it actually does work. I don't tend to use any brushes uh, on the wheel. Um, I don't think these are tire brushes, but Detailing brushes and, and little brushes. These are the brushes for the inside, which I was thinking of purchasing. I haven't purchased them yet um, I tend to use just the sponge and the chamois on the wheels to clean the wheels I don't really need to use brushes. It's easy enough for me to clean them with the chamois with the cloth and the sponge Okay, so that's that's the wash. So when the wash is finished uh, Then it's the dry um, When I take most of the excess water off, if I'm not going to wax the car, if I'm not going to wax the car, which I wax my car quite regularly with thin layers of wax, I'm not going to wax the car, I use this product, and this product is amazing. I think if you buy one product, uh, you should try this out. Dodo Juice Red Mist. Uh, Sometimes it's out of stock. Uh, This is the bigger size, I think that's why it's expensive, about 500 mils, but it's not cheap. You don't need to use a lot. Uh, If you, when you've washed your car and it's pretty much dry, you just, Spray it on, section at a time, microfiber cloth in squares, moving it around, shake your cloth out. It puts a, like a coating, like a sheen, and, and your car looks like you've repolished it and rewaxed it. It really brings up the paintwork. It's amazing, it's an amazing product. Um, it gives the whole paintwork so much gloss and depth after washing it. It's, it's really, really good. Um, they say it's more of a synthetic spray sealant but it works. It's a good in-between wax treatment um, or every time you wash your car, I guess, but I just use it most of the times when I'm not waxing. If I'm gonna wax a car, I don't tend to use it. <clears throat> so then the detailing, that's the drying process. If you're not waxing the car, I actually haven't saved the wax. Uh, then I do the glass. There are lots of different glass cleaners out there. 
I read reviews on some of them. This one I came across which had good reviews. It's called Stoner's Invisible Glass. I've been using it for the last year. It works really well. It seems to, you know, it's always dependent on the cloth and the type of cloth you're using and the, and the, and the uh, state of the cloth. Uh, you use a proper microfiber glass cloth, it normally works quite well. But anyway, I use Stoner uh, Invisible Glass. Good product, works well. Not that expensive. Okay, so then for the black parts of the car. Um, there's this product which is pretty well known by 303 Products, Aerospace Pr Protectant. Uh, this is what I use, um, like I said, this was also recommended to me by, by my friend. Uh, who has a GT3, but this is what I use for the black on the outside of the car. So the piece that's uh, underneath the windscreen between the bonnet, that piece, I use it around the molding of the glass, of the windows, the side windows. It obviously makes all the black darker. Uh, it stays on there for quite a while between washers. Um, I'm not sure if I really need it, but it does make the car, it just finishes the cleaning of the car and it makes it look good. So then we're on the, uh, okay, so this is the cloth. This is the mint microfiber glass cloth. There are lots of different cloths for cleaning glass. This one I bought because it was one of the few that they had. Uh, it seems to work quite well. Once again, I think it's expensive for a cloth. Cleaning glass is dependent upon the product and the cloth. And if the cloth's no good, it's really hard to clean the glass. So I use this cloth. Uh, it seems to work quite well. So we've washed the car. Uh, we've dried the car. We've put the red mist on the car. We've done the black on the outside. I only do around the windows in the front. Uh, then uh, I do the tires. Uh, the tires I use, um, I don't think it's anything special actually. It's just a tire. It's, I use the wet look tire shine. So it has more of a wetter look. Uh, it does actually look better. The Durigloss wet look tire shine. Uh, ultra high gloss. It's not really ultra high gloss. It looks a bit wet. It looks pretty good when it's on. Okay, so now I've done the tires. Then you've got the inside. The inside I give a very soft vacuum. I don't use any brushes really. Uh, on the seal guards, I mainly I use this one. Next set cockpit premium interior plastic cleaner. So this one I usually use and I use this on the seal guards. Mine I've got black plastic seal guards with the metal so I use it on the black. I use it uh, on the like the glove box and things like that. Sometimes on the dashboard. A lot of the times I'll just use a microfiber cloth with warm water, a little bit, not a lot of soap, a little bit of just normal soap in it, and I'll just wipe it down and then have another bucket with clean water where I'll wipe it down. Um, but quite dry cloths, not, not super wet. But I do use the cockpit premium. I do tend to use this on the seal guards. My card, the center console is just the normal standard center console, so it's that rubberized plastic that scratches a lot. Mine is in reasonably good condition. This product uh, works quite well on that. It, it's not like other products which leaves a really bad residue or a shine. Uh, it just enhances the finish. It actually enhances the finish and it, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. So the other part of the interior which uh, always needs a bit of attention are the seats. Um, I bought these two products recently. I bought the Auto Glim Leather Cleaner and I bought the Auto Glim Leather Balm. Uh, now, I haven't actually used them. I had a little container of leather balm and I think the cleaner that I clean my seats in with seats with before I used that leather balm was a product that my friend gave me, I can't remember the name. Uh, I bought the Auto Glim, I read good reports about it, good reviews. Uh, I haven't used it yet, I will use it over Christmas. Uh, my seats aren't, don't get that dirty. Um, I find when you stall the car though, and the car's in storage and it's downstairs just in the environment of a car park, you do see the leather drying out a little bit. Um, at the moment I'm using the leather balm from this other product, which I can't remember the name. But I have bought the Auto Glim. I will try it out. Uh, it is probably what I'll be using in the future because I've purchased two bottles of it. Uh, that's it. Uh, the polish. I've only polished my car once when I first picked it up. Uh, my friend lent me some polish. Menzerna, uh, it wasn't this one. This one apparently is the replacement to the one I used. I did a full polish of the car, uh, removed all the old wax, I did a full polish of the car and then put the new wax on um, when I first purchased the car. The paintwork is in pretty good condition. Oh, and of course the, uh, you know, something you need and you need a lot of, the mint applicator pads, especially if you wax your car a lot, uh, this is what you use. Um, the mint applicator pads, Foam applicator pads, 
everywhere you can buy them. Um, I try to keep them and wash them out and use them again. Sometimes they do, you can use them again, sometimes you can't. Uh, it depends on, it depends on uh, how long you left them and how many times you've used them. Yeah, so that's pretty much all of the products I use uh, at the moment to wash my car, um, to wash and detail my car. Um, oh, I also use this cloth. I've only just bought this cloth actually and I haven't, to be honest with you, I've only used it once. Auto Glim High Tech Finishing Cloth. It's pretty much just another microfiber cloth. It's expensive. Um, I don't know if it's any better than the ones I use. Oh, that's the one thing that I haven't told you guys about. The microfiber cloth, cloths, the microfiber cloths that I use, uh, once again recommended by my friend, they come from Costco. Uh, I somehow managed to find them on Amazon. I bought them off Amazon because I couldn't get them at Costco. But they're the yellow microfiber cloths. They come in a pack of like 30. Uh, they're great. They're really, really good. They're really cheap. Uh, much cheaper than this one. Uh, if you see them, buy them. You can use them for everything. You can use them for the waxing, you can use them for the polishing, you can use them for the interior. You could probably even use them to clean your windows. You know what I mean? Um, so, but they're from Costco. They're just yellow microfiber cloths. Really, really good. Pack of 20 or pack of 30 or something. It could even be more. It could be a pack of 40. I'm not sure. It's a big, it's about this. I think that's it. So, short video i know it's not going to be a short video because i know i've probably been talking for 10 minutes again but thanks for watching uh i did this video on the request of a few people i know you were probably expecting me to show you uh, me washing the car if there's something you would like to see or some more information you would like about how i wash my car or what products i use let me know in the comments uh, happy to answer uh, i'll put a link to i don't know whether i can put a link to my wish list here i'll try if i can't I'll give you a link to this site. I can't list all of these items individually, there's way too many, but um, I'll try and link my um, wish list on car care products in Australia so you guys can see it. Uh, but anyway, I hope this helped. Uh, it helped me when my friend told me what products to use when I first picked up my car. Uh, there are a lot. I'm sure you could get by with uh, fewer than what I'm using. Uh, I'm sure you could just have the essentials, but for me, this works really well. Uh, I like cleaning my car, I also find it, I don't know if you guys find it, I find it very relaxing when I'm doing it, and I like the result in the end. And from the comments that you guys make here and on my Instagram, people always say how good my car looks. And it looks good because it's it's cleaned well. Uh, it's in good condition, but it's also upkept well. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Uh, you know my name is Michael Barth, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button and that little bell, which is the notifications, you turn that on, you'll get a notification every time I load, upload a video. Um, and every like helps. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.